Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to use trigonometry in two connected right angle triangles. So let's have a look at the example here. So we've got to work out angle X and we have a right angle triangle on the left and a right angle triangle on the right hand side. So usually with this sort of problem you'll need to work out the length connecting the two triangles. So let's call this length here, let's call that Y. Okay, so before we can work out angle X then, we need to use the left triangle to find side length Y. Okay, since we've got a side and we've got an angle and we need another side, that would mean we need to use trigonometry. Okay. So our longest side of this right angle triangle is the hypotenuse. The side which is opposite the angle is O. And the third side here is the adjacent side. Okay, so if we write down Sokotoa then next to decide which one of our three formulas to use. So We've got the hypotenuse and we need to work out the opposite. Okay, so the one with H and O in is sin. So if we write our formula down properly, it's sin theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So fill our numbers into the formula. So it'd be sin, the angle here is 50, and the opposite is y, and the hypotenuse is 7. So to find side length y, we just need to times both sides by 7. So y would be 7 times sin 50. So 7 times sin 50 gives uh, 5.36. So we're going to keep this answer in the calculator's memory because we've got to use it again in a minute. Okay, so we can now focus on the right hand side. Okay, so we've got y which is 5.36. So we have two sides of this right angle triangle and we need to find the angle this time. So this would again be a trigonometry question. So again, if we label up our triangle, this side here would be the hypotenuse. Uh, the side opposite the angle, which we need to work out, is the opposite. And our third side is the adjacent. So we've now got to select the correct trigonometry formula. So we've got the adjacent and we've also got the opposite. So the opposite and the adjacent is tan this time. So it's tan theta equals O over A. So it'd be tan theta equals, the opposite is 5.36 over 6. So to get our angle, we need to do the opposite to tan, which is tan inverse, tan minus 1. So again, if we just get our calculator. So on our calculator, we need to go shift tan fraction so if you remember we stored the last answer in the calculator's memory so if you just press a and s so that will be 5.36 and put the 6 on the bottom and we get an angle of 41.8 degrees to one decimal place so I hope you liked this video, if you did make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys, bye bye.